So we got to take the sound deadening out, and that's like the last thing we got to do before we do the cage. And we usually use dry ice, that's like the move, but we heard that heat is the new thing. So maybe we'll just, we got like a little thing going. We'll just do that. Maybe we'll just do heat, like whatever. I don't know. This is how the internet said to do it. So the original plan was to do heat, and this is what it looks like after you do heat. It comes off pretty easy, but it leaves this crud, and then it's, you gotta do that. But if you use dry ice and break it apart with a hammer real good, and like let it sit here for about 15 minutes, and this whole sheet just comes right up. Glue, everything. It's, this is, I haven't done anything to this. Whoever came up with the bright idea of using heat is an idiot. It's all about the dry ice. Dry ice. Heat. Heat. Dry ice. Got this little bin. Like a dent. Got like a little dent here. So we gotta fix it. Fix it. That is new. That is freaking new. It's day. I don't know what day it is. We're gonna call it day three. But I still want to just call it day two. Uh, and anyways, um, it got real late last night taking out the sound deadening out of the car, and I was tired and didn't feel like filming anything. So we're gonna head over to Dan's. I dropped the car off earlier. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start building a roll cage for it, I guess. So we're gonna take the Z today. I've been driving that turd around all week. And then, and that one I can't drive by myself. So we're gonna drive this guy. Don't mind, it doesn't have mirrors. I haven't, I painted the whole car, I forgot to paint the mirrors. I painted the whole car in like three days. Put wheels on it, put coilovers on it brought it to OSW and I got to drive it but this is literally like the second time it's been on the road so kind of exciting you got the classic ABS fuse pulled for the for the slidey boys driving the Z is actually extremely comfortable except for I don't have a radio I just got like a stock radio and I ripped the antenna apart because I don't I don't like how it looked. Right now we're headed to my buddy Dan uh, at DCW Fab, and my car is already over there. This is probably this might actually be the worst part of building a new car is the cage work, but it gives me another chance to do things the right way. Um, it's not that I was afraid of the welds on the last cage; it's just that the quality didn't look like it was there. And the whole point of building this car is just showcase the quality of my craftsmanship, I guess you would say. But if you've heard of DCW, Dan Shelton is, uh, well, he's, he's a legend, really. In the drifting community, at least the Florida drifting community, if not all over the nation, but definitely a legendary fabricator. The first thing we got to do is build some plates so we have something to anchor the cage to on the chassis. So we'll go ahead and build some plates first. Lucky for me, it's got this huge shear over here which makes chopping up plates easy work.
think now it's time to cut some bars up. A lot of people keep saying to build door bars that are real crazy in this really crazy cage like a rally car, but I'm fat and I want to be able to get out, so no. If there's a fire, I need to be able to get out. The odds of this thing catching on fire are, are pretty good. I just want to put pointless pipes in here. Like a gun rack. Some beef stuff. I turn it on and the banter stops. Yeah, it's, a, it's natural. It's day four, and it was supposed to be a one day cage, but I, and I told everybody that it was gonna be a one day cage, except for Dan. <laughs> so it turned out to be a two day cage. them into doing a lot of the work. Everything fits so good. But Mike, why are you building a Formula Drift spec car when you're not even going to compete? Because I feel like it. And I can. And you can. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I see y'all out there. Asking the real questions. Hey Mike, what kind of what kind of settings are you using on your welder to get such good penetration? We see your roll cages coming out so good. Man, my buddy Dan over here set me up with the good settings. These are all the settings that you need. 16 gauge to half inch thick. Man. Now I gotta figure out who's gonna vacuum this out, because I sure as heck ain't doing it. Never under any circumstance, for any reason, at all, no matter what you're doing, or who you're with, or what day it is, or why you're doing it, should you ever do anything without a doubt, at all. This car means nothing to me.